Hey guys. So uh, I'm not doing a walk today. I went to the gym and then I had to go like right to work. And right now I'm going over to my friend's house because he's having like a little get together and stuff like that. So no walk today. I'm gonna probably do one tomorrow though, which you know I'm really looking forward to because I haven't actually done a walk in a while. You know I do walk at the gym. I walked a lot at the gym today, and I did a walk and I did a run, lifted some weights. I started to feel a little, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm definitely a little bit sore. I, like if you don't work out for a while and then you, as soon as you jump back into it, it's just like ah. So I'm a little bit sore. I did uh, legs today and abs, and I did abs and arms the day before. So tomorrow I'm just going to go for a break. And uh, I am starving right now. I am so damn hungry. And that's another important thing, you know, if you're if you're working on your body, is like food. Nutrition is just like massively important. They say that if you like eat protein you should eat protein within 30 to 45 minutes after you work out for the best results because i guess it's probably due to the vasodilation within your blood cells it allows for nutrients to get in and out faster so it's really good to already have eaten like a tiny bit like right before the workout and that way you know you're burning it as you're working out and then you eat like afterwards that way you know your body is still like constantly fuel throughout the workout and after the workout because it's still, you still have to take the time to digest the food. And, you know, sometimes that's good to have, um, you know, protein powders and stuff like that. But it, I, I feel like it's probably better to have like an all natural diet. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things that, you know, the milk proteins could actually cause that are bad. So they're kind of, it's kind of a hit and miss, but you know, I've definitely used protein powders before. I've had, I've had good results with protein powder when I used to lift weights all the time. I used to be like pretty decently solid. I mean, I never got huge, huge. Like I was benching like if I maxed out back when I was big, it might have been like 240, 245. So I didn't get huge. I never broke the 300, but I'm planning to do that. I want to break the 300. I'd like to do it before the end of the year. But if not before the end of the year, then before the end of next year for sure. Because I want to break the 300 and I want to break 500 on squat and I want to break 500 on deadlift. And I almost broke the 500 on squat. I got like the four or something when I, back when I was lifting weights all the time. And like I felt, you know, I felt so much better about myself. But I was, I was having problems lifting the right way. My form was a mess. So I was always having like back problems, like my back would like hurt a little bit or my knee would hurt a little bit. And that's like another important thing when it comes to lifting weights is form. Form is so important. And so it was just not jumping in too fast. Cause I know there's a lot of times if I like, you know, I start lifting weights, I jump in really fast and then like I get so tired and exhausted and I get worn out. So it's, it's good to go like a little bit slow at the beginning and just get used to it. You know, it's good to be a little bit sore, but you don't you don't want to be overly sore and you don't want to, you know, constantly be sore, but you do want to change out your workouts on occasion because you don't want to stale and stall, stall, not stale. And you want to just, uh, you want to switch it up, you know, switch out what you're doing like all the time. Well, not all the time. You After a few weeks of doing a certain routine, you want to switch up. Like some people will stay on starting strength forever, but it's good to, you know, move, move from different things. Like not all, I, it, I, I don't think you should just lift weights either. Like, you know, cardio is pretty important. Like I feel like it's a little bit underrated in the lifting world. Like back when I was, I was gaining, you know, muscle fairly fast because I was like, I went from, you know, what was it? I was probably able to do like over maybe like 130 or 140 pounds. And then like six months later, I was, that's when I was benching like 220. And I was also running every day, like three miles a day with a 20 pound weight vest. And I feel like that helped a lot. Like I don't, like after I ran with a 20 pound weight vest, I'd always feel like I could lift more. Like I'd always feel more energized and everything. 
And that's another thing I'm going to start doing is, you know, I, I need to buy another weight vest. I had one. It was a Gold's Gym one, but I wound up losing it somewhere. It's somewhere in my house, I think. I don't know. I can't find it. I wish I knew where it was, but I might just have to buy a new one. I'm going to start walking with that. I did used to run with it, but I'm not too sure how I feel about that on my knees. 